Well, hi, Mark. Uh, another busy night Friday. Is that becoming the norm? Um, just first of all, just before we get into that, Spankham at the trials was quite impressive, which is going to lead you to start them next week. Was that your original plan? Uh, we didn't really make a, a set plan with him, Dave. We just thought we'd let him tell us when he's ready, and uh, he trialled nicely the week before, and, and then again uh, yesterday. Well, although he's, he's not beating much in, in the open company ranks uh, yesterday, but he still he did his work nice, and um, you know I think I think you can only do so much of the trials, and you really got to step out just to get that race fitness under his belt. Will he be our only runner at the Hannon at this stage, or are you not decided on that yet? Uh, not decided. We'll see what happens tomorrow night with our three uh, cup, cup runners tomorrow night, and uh, make a call whether we send two down there, or uh, but we'll, we'll make a call after tomorrow night. I see Revered, our first runner, has um, got a, quite a tricky draw, a little bit of a gear change. What might we be expecting there? His, his work's been good, Dave, and, and his races probably haven't been too bad. He's probably a horse that's needed a couple of runs just to get to peak fitness, and even now he's probably still a, a run away from that, I'd say. But uh, work's been encouraging, and although it's, um, it's a reasonably nice maiden field, um, and he'll probably need a little bit of luck from the draw, but he's probably capable of being in three. Beyond words is without doubt the best place horse at the meeting. Uh, penalty free and now uh, running against the mares, and I think you'd be expecting something pretty bold from her. Yes, yes, she's a nice mare. She's done nothing wrong. The form, form line reads really well, and um, uh, as you say, getting a penalty free win last start's a bonus and uh, needs much the same opposition. Mm. And then we've uh, got a raft of trotters, uh, just to deal with the three-year-olds first, Regal Affair, it's quite an interesting three-year-old trotting field, and uh, would Regal Affair have the slight edge of our two? I would say so, Dave, um, being the colt, he's a little bit stronger, I'd say. Um, only a small field, but a, a quality field, and uh, we've got a high opinion of him, so I think he'll be, it'll be a bold showing, I'd say. An American pride who seems to be getting better with every run, and uh, he seems to be not badly placed. Uh, I guess he's got quite a bit in front of him, but you'd be happy with the way he's going? Yeah, happy with the way he's going. Um, he's a nice horse in this grade, um, and he's sort of got a, probably a couple of wins under his belt reasonably quickly, I would think. So um, he'd be very competitive, I'd say, on tomorrow night. It's a little bit of a problem for you, well, well I'm assuming it might be, but there's 12 runners and, uh, and, and about a third of the field are unruly. Is, is, that, um, is that a minus for you? Um, well, you, you, you tend to get more room, so uh, no, it, it doesn't really matter too much. I think um, he, he's, better, he's certainly better there, there at this stage until he just learns a little bit more ring craft. And Winterfell, well, um, Winterfell's... Uh, Problems are probably well known at uh, Addington, but have you been doing anything with him to sort of straighten him out since uh, last time? Uh, we've just been focusing on the left-handed work. Um, just changed it a little bit since his last start, slowed his work down, and just going doing a little bit more work, um, sort of left-handed, but not as quick. And um, just hopefully, he's sort of, I feel he could be getting a little bit better, but uh, it's just a matter of just keeping at him and, and trying to. Trying yeah. to work him out a bit. Is it a structural thing, um, Mark, or is it just in the brain, or is it just uh, the way some horses are? Oh, just the way some horses are, and um, you know, you'll often find a horse is better, more comfortable one way than the other, and he's he's just more comfortable right-handed in his form line at Auckland uh, reflects that. Mm. And um, what are you really expecting if I look at the field and think, well, it's a, it's an interesting field. Uh, what would you be expecting from him? What would be a pass mark for you? Look, I think I'd just expect him, if he, if he could get round and do things right, I'd be, I'd be happy with that. I'd know we we're on the right track. We know he's got the ability, but at this stage he's not tractable enough to be sort of competitive in, 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 the, in the big races. So uh, I'd be really wrapped if he just got round and did things right. But his fitness level's high enough? Yes, his fitness mm. level's high enough. Yes. Mm. The open class race, uh, Mark, well, self-assured, I suppose, the, the obvious thing there is the standing start and you'll be looking for some improvement there. Yes, we've given him a little bit of standing start practice at home and he's um, uh, he's getting a little bit more relaxed uh, about it all. So uh, I think we've, we're on the right track with him, but um, uh, nothing like race day to, 
to bring the undone and uh, uh, just just hopefully uh, what we've done at home is going to help him tomorrow night. He's not really the sort of horse that would normally you'd expect him to have any problems from the stand. He's a fairly laid back customer. Yes, well he got away good the first time. He got away good in the in the Auckland Cup too. Mm. So uh, he, like he, he's just the type of horse he just feels like when he does get the hang of it, he's, he's going to be a good beginner. And no doubt he'll be right in uh, the, the second Tuesday in November. He won't be making any mistakes. Um, Princess Tiffany seems to have the draw that she can possibly have a sit and sprint shoot. Uh, is she a threat to you? Um, well, she's not a threat of all being equal, but no. she's a threat of uh, self-assured makes a mistake and gives a 20 metre start. But, um, you know, they're, they're just, the boys are just a little bit stronger, but she's, she's been competitive up there. And, and uh, from a one draw and, and a safe beginning, I'm sure she's going to be competitive again. I've spoke to Tim about another masterpiece and his change of gear, and um, you, you'd be looking for that to sharpen him up? Yeah, let's hope that works, um, Dave. Um, Tim just felt he, he sort of felt good and then dropped a bit reasonably quick last week. But... Um, uh, let, let's hope that uh, that just keeps his mind on the job. It's always hard being third and fourth best, isn't it, when you're when you're running against the uh, uh, top horses all the time. Yep, that's right. Yeah, or, or elite horses in case of self-assured. And would self-assured, wh where would he go from here? You you thought further ahead, I well, no doubt you have, but um, will he have another little break after this, or will it be straight on to Ashburton? Yeah, well, pro I probably wouldn't mind if he had a few days off after this and, and maybe his next run was about three weeks away. Um, uh, he's in good fitness level now and rather than race him all the time, it'd be nice if he just had a little freshen up now. And, hmm. mm. and with your previous cup winners, um, Mark, you still have a fair bit of confidence that he can add to the record on his ability. I mean, he's, he's come up as well as you had expected. Oh, yes, he has. He has certainly, Dave, and um, uh, three for three, you can't do any better than that. But uh... No. <laughs> no, even when you give them a start. <laughs> and um, to move on to lesser horses, but looking well placed, uh, Aqua Sancta later in the night um, has a bad draw, but it's not a bad field for a three-win horse. No, no, he, he's, his, his work's good too, Dave. He's, he just, I think he's just a little horse. He's got to have cover and just have the last run at him. And uh, that's the way he's best driven. Uh, doesn't seem to be able to do a lot of work in middle stages or, or sit outside them. So, uh, yeah, hopefully if he just gets a card into the race at some stage and has the last run at them, he'd probably be very competitive. Mm. Uh, would you, apart from self-assured, would you name one as you, you know, horse you've got a fair bit of confidence about tomorrow night? Uh, probably the three-year-old Trotter Regal Attire. I think um, you know he'll be he'll feature in all the classic races this this season, and uh, he's got the Sale Series race coming up from last year, and uh, I'm sure he'd be hard to beat in that. Yeah, fair fair comment. Now, just before we go, Mark, uh, you had Town Echo at the uh, trials during the week, and he's a real she's a really um, recent addition to the stable. Uh, what's the background there? You've had her for a short time. Uh, just over two weeks, Dave, yeah, Matt Anderson had asked us to take her um, for, for the owners and uh, uh, yeah, so she settled in good and made it up with her paddock mates well and, and uh, she seems to be enjoying life. So pleased with her first outing yesterday and she'll go into the size stakes heat uh, uh, a week today. Yeah, and, it's a bit, and, <clears throat> and it'll be nearly a week today when we talk to the stable next. Thanks very much, Mark. Good, good luck. Dave.